Hello everyone, Pastor Steve here. Hope you're doing well today and uh, looking forward to a great scatter group. And I hope that you are uh, looking forward to a good Sunday as well. And we're praying for a great day. <clears throat> we have a missions conference coming up and here's the details on the screen. Let's be praying for our missions conference and asking God to do great things in the lives of our young people and people considering missions. And also that all of us can participate in praying for our missionaries and also in uh, supporting them financially. Let's pray for the faith promise giving and for that to increase and not only be sustained, but increase so we could take on additional missionaries as well. We're in the book of 1 Samuel, so go ahead and find 1 Samuel in your copy of Scripture, please. And uh, let's look in chapter 4. So 1 Samuel chapter 4. Have you ever seen somebody that had a good luck charm? and or they had like a little ritual that they would do as if that would bring them good luck i mean i've known people that would uh, make sure their shoes strings are tied in a certain way just because it bring good luck or athletes have you seen pro athletes baseball players football players with their gloves their gloves they have on they'll they'll have vel the velcro there they'll put them on different ways and you have grown men that will do uh, certain rituals before an athletic event or maybe they'll touch something like oh if I touch this it would bring me good luck and uh, they'll, they'll have a practice like that and you know I can't do anything until where's my rabbit where's my rabbit's foot I need a rabbit's foot I don't have one but where's it at you know I can't I can't bring this message until I have a, my rabbit's foot and maybe find some kind of security and a good luck charm well as Christians we don't need good luck charms in the Old Testament, the uh, Israelites had some judges. Then Eli is called a judge in the passage. 